If the operator has the ability to minimize fluctuations in plant flow, he or she will be able to operate the plant in a more efficient manner. Diurnal flow patterns and storm events create fluctuations in flow to the treatment plant. These fluctuations can be managed by the use of flow equalization facilities. If flow equalization facilities do not exist, their installation should be given consideration since non-fluctuating flow through a treatment plant will help to optimize treatment plant operations. Foul odors at the treatment plant headworks is common due to the production of hydrogen sulfide in the collection system. If possible, conditions should be modified in the collection system to eliminate anaerobic conditions which lead to the production of hydrogen sulfide. If aerobic conditions cannot be maintained in the collection system, the use of chemicals such as chlorine, iron salts, potassium permanganate, and hydrogen peroxide may be used to control odors. Odors may also be controlled by covering treatment plant processes and collecting the gases emanating from the process and treating them through a sodium hydroxide, a sodium hypochlorite, a potassium permanganate, or activated carbon odor control system. Waste that has been collected from residential and commercial septic tanks and delivered to the treatment plant is typically high in biochemical oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand, and total suspended solids. Many sewer districts and municipalities have special licenses and requirements regarding septage waste. Introduction of septage waste must be controlled at the treatment plant to prevent organic and solids overload to the various treatment processes. There are various recycle flows that are generated at the wastewater treatment plant that end up at the headworks. These recycle flows can be very high in biochemical oxygen demand and can cause a shock load on the plant. These recycle flows come from digester supernatant, dewatering equipment filtrate, dewatering equipment centrate, and filter media backwash water. These recycle flow streams must be monitored for both flow and waste concentration to ensure that the treatment plant is not organically overloaded.